Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Muggle Magic. Today we're going to be making Peruvian Instant Darkness Powder, and this was a request by Cass, who's the headmistress over on Patreon. Basically, uh, the headmistress gets to choose uh, a DIY each month for me to do, so this is the one for April. I've really always liked Peruvian Instant Darkness Powder. I like the idea of it. It kind of reminds me of like smoke bombs that ninjas use, where they just like throw it down and then smoke goes everywhere and they can escape and stuff. So. Uh, basically, if you are a ninja wizard, this is perfect for you. As always, if you do like my videos, uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up down below, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. All of these things really do help and I appreciate it. Go ahead and check out the description box below for a list of supplies you're gonna need to make this DIY, as well as the free downloadable templates, and let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is download and print the templates. And we have this long one. This was printed on 11 by 17 paper. I also have different sizes of paper so that basically anyone can print this. If you use a smaller size of paper though, you're gonna have to uh, you know, glue this together so that it is a long uh, sign like this. This is our sign for the instant darkness powder. And this was based off of the sign that was actually seen in the movie. And then we also have these little star labels here. And both of these were printed on cardstock paper. And yeah, the star labels should look like this. And this one should be double-sided. Um, there are a couple of different versions. If you're using a Cricut to cut these out, I have a version that you use in, in your Cricut and um, the stars on this side are actually just as big as the stars on this side. These are a little bit bigger. And yeah, you would just run this through your Cricut with the uh, template that I provided to load into Cricut Design Space, and yeah, you should be good to go. But if you don't have a Cricut, then you can cut these out by hand. And I'm gonna show you how to do it, and it, it should look really nice. You're not gonna use scissors. We're going to use a ruler and X-Acto knife to do this. So first, let's cut this sign out. What I'm doing is I'm just pushing down pretty hard with the ruler and then using my X-Acto knife to follow along uh, that edge to get a nice, clean, straight cut in my paper. And there we go. And I don't remember if I mentioned this or not, <laughs> but this sign is also printed on cardstock paper. Um, it's good to do it that way. You could even reinforce this by gluing it on top of some cardboard or wood or something, and that would probably be a good idea, but it's not necessary. And for the star labels, we are going to do the exact same thing. Um, they're a little bit more tedious to cut out if you're doing this by hand. You're just going to cut them out just like this. And if you don't want to go through the trouble to uh, cut all these stars out th in this way. You could use scissors if you want on these, but they're gonna look better if you use the ruler and X-Acto knife, so I recommend doing it this way. Now you should have all of these cut out. I only cut out six of them because that's how many I'm making in this DIY video, but you can do as many as you want. Now let's go ahead and just set all of this aside for now because we need to actually make the instant darkness powder itself. First of all, you could order this. This is called Carborundum Crystals, and it's perfect. This, I think, is might even be what they used in the movie uh, when you look at it there. This looks exactly like what it looks like in the movie. The problem is, it's not cheap. This piece alone was $5, and I ordered six of them. So yeah, it's not cheap. So basically, my idea is I'm gonna use these for the display, and then I'm also going to have some like little packages of darkness powder that people can take with them, like say if you're having a party, um, and those I'm going to make. So let's get into how we actually make something that looks at least somewhat like this. The answer is lava rocks. What I'm gonna do in this next portion of the video was inspired by uh, another DIY that I found, and I usually don't do this. Most of the time, I do my own thing without looking up anything else, but this in particular project was very difficult. To, I didn't know exactly how to make these, so the original idea is credited to Cooking and Crafting Chick. 
definitely check out her channel. She has a ton of really good DIY videos, so and a lot of it has to do with Harry Potter. So if you're interested in that, check out her channel. I'm gonna link that in the description box below. Now we are gonna need a piece of scrap paper under this because we are gonna do some painting. If you have some gloves, like some latex gloves or something, you might wanna wear those just so you don't get uh, paint all over your fingers, but I'm just gonna use some old rags and wipe my hands off as I go. So yeah, you could do that too. We are going to be using quite a lot of paint. We have quite a bit. <laughs> um, we're gonna use all these different colors right here. Like you can see there are five different colors here. We have uh, color shift, and this is really cool paint where it like shifts from color to color in the light. It's black, but in the light it kind of has a golden shine. This one is the same thing, it's blue and purplish, and it has a shine as well in the light that kind of shifts the color. So this is called Color Shift uh, Paint, and uh, these are linked in the description box so you can purchase exactly what I'm using here. So these are the two primary colors we're gonna use. We also have some metallic gold, uh, metallic blue, and then we have this, which is kind of a clear coat for this, but it also has some black glitter in there that looks really cool. And here is a Muggle Magic tip for you. <laughs> uh, use an old egg carton, cut it in half, and each one of these can hold a different color of paint. And we're gonna start off with the Color Shift Black and Gold paint. And then we're just going to coat this entire thing with this Color Shift Black and Gold. And there we go, now we have this whole thing covered and this is our base color, so we're gonna go ahead and let this dry, and then we can add some more details to it. So now I have let these sit and dry for about an hour and a half, and they look pretty good. Okay, so now we're gonna take the other colors that we have, so this um, color shift blue, and then the metallic gold and the metallic blue, and we are just going to add some uh, details to these rocks. So just little bits here and there. Now that I have these kind of detailed with the blue color shift, I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit longer and then we're gonna add some more detail. So at this point I've done both of the color shift paints and it's already looking pretty, it's, it's looking pretty good. It's looking similar in colors to uh, the actual stuff. But now we're gonna go ahead and add some more details with the metallic blue and the metallic gold. So now these are pretty much uh, done with their initial like base paint color. Now we're going to coat them with this extreme glitter. And this stuff um, is basically just like a clear coat with glitter in it. Um, and then we also have this black glitter. Um, and this is extra fine glitter. And I don't know how well you can see that, but it, it's black and it has kind of like uh, purples and blues when it shines in the light. So this is exactly what we want right here. And what we're going to be doing is mixing a little bit of the black glitter in with some of this. And then we are going to coat these with that and let them dry and they'll have sort of like a clear coat finish that also kind of glitters and shines uh, to make them look a little bit uh, more like the real stuff. And we kind of want that shine. And here's uh, one that I painted. So as you can see, the colors are similar, but it doesn't have that sparkle. So it's gonna look kind of like white or gray when you put it in here, but when it, when it dries, it will be clear. Um, so there's that. Let's add some of this extra fine glitter. And you have to be careful with this stuff. It will get on everything. <laughs> and then we'll just go ahead and coat this. And we just wanna cover the whole thing. You don't have to worry about getting into every single tiny little nook in here because there are many, but yeah, just kind of Coat it, cover it as best as you can. So it'll look like this when it's still wet, but once it dries, it'll look much better. All right, so now that that has dried, uh, they should have a bit of a sparkle to them, like a little bit of a shimmer, and it should look something like this. And if yours isn't uh, shimmering enough, like these shimmer okay, but I could probably put another coat on there. So yeah, feel free to put more than one coat of that glitter paint on here but they don't look bad, they actually look pretty good. And here's the real stuff. Obviously, the real stuff is going to look better. 
And then here is what we created. So now what we need to do is package these. Um, but I'm going to save a few of these. I'm going to package three of them and keep three out for my display. And what you're going to need for the packaging is this. This is gold tissue paper. And you just need a square about this big. You can cut this square out just with some scissors. So there's that. And now we're going to take some uh, string. I'm using this hemp to do this, but you could use ribbon or whatever you want to use. I just like the look of this hemp. It looks very natural. And then we also need one of these star labels that we created. So we're going to take this and just put a hole punch in it right at the top of the star right here. So you should have a hole in it right about there. Now we'll set that aside just for a second because we are going to just wrap, wrap it up just like this. And then we're going to tie it off. So right now we have something just like this. So what you want to do next is take your star label and we're going to feed some of that ribbon or string through it. So once you're done, you should have the label just kind of tied on there with your uh, string or whatever you're using, if it's ribbon. And then we'll just go ahead and do the same thing with the other two. So now you should have all of this. You should have um, your sign. You should have some of these that you made outside of the packaging and then some that you have already put into the packaging. I only made six in this video, so I have three out and three wrapped. Um, but you probably are going to want to make more. Like you'll probably make like 12 of them at least. But I had six of the actual carborundum that I ordered. So that will make up for what I don't actually have of these. Anyways, let's go ahead and put all of this together into a display. All right, so here is uh, my display, how it turned out. Um, right here, I tried to make this look as similar to the movie as possible. Um, this part, th this brass part right here, is actually supposed to be an old vintage brass scale, but I could not find one. If you watch the movie and you see like the, a shot of the Peruvian Instant Darkness powder, you'll see what I mean. Um, but yeah, I just couldn't find anything that looked similar to that. So I went with this candle holder that I found at Goodwill because it just, the shape of it was cool and it was the right color and it had these little platforms that I could put the carborundum on or the instant darkness powder on. And I thought that it looked really nice with this. Um, and then obviously we have the packaged ones over here and I put the sign up right above here. And this is just in a bookcase. You could do this in like a box or something though if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, I did this in the top shelf of a bookcase, and I think it looks pretty cool. Um, this fabric right here is actually a kind of like glittery, sort of sparkly fabric, um, a sequined fabric. And yeah, it's actually supposed to be a dark blue color, but all I could find was black, so that's what I used. Um, and it's kind of dark back there. I, you're supposed to have a few lights up here that kind of shine down into it so that you can see a bit more, but I didn't have any lights to put in there right now. But yeah, I'm just gonna see if you can see how it looks back there if I just kind of shine this light in there. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, it's actually supposed to have a couple of lights shining down in it like this from above on this side and this side behind the uh, the sign. So as soon as I find some lights to put in here, I will do that. If you'd like a chance at winning the uh, instant darkness powder that I made in this video today, the giveaway is going to be for uh, the ones that I made out of the lava rocks, um, the ones that we painted and everything, um, and then also the three that I wrapped. So you'll get six in total. The monthly giveaway link is in the description box below. Uh, down there, you're also going to find giveaways for a couple of other things. I've got the 45K giveaway um, for the Gilderoy Lockhart pop figure, signed framed photograph, and Defense Against the Dark Arts quiz. 
I also have a 50K giveaway going on for a Muggle Magic mystery box, and that is basically uh, a box with seven items in it. Five of them came from uh, subscription boxes that I've done unboxings for on my channel before, and then two of them are going to be brand new projects by me that I haven't released yet, and I won't release them until after the box is won and received. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you want to see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.